This is Paul. <laughs> Could you get me a copy of the International Com uh, Covenant on Civil and Political Rights? <laughs> yeah, this is something I'm going to look at today because <laughs> I'm absolutely sure that you've deprived me of my liberty. Yes. Mm -hmm. Violated my human rights. Yes. Because of your arbitrary arrest and detention of myself. Yes. <laughs> now, your family says, well, we got to do it. I say I got to sue you. <laughs> it's not, well, it's just something I have to do. Yes. I just cannot allow for any individual in the employment of any form of government of the United States to arbitrarily arrest and detain American citizens. <laughs> What I've experienced, probably lots of other people have experienced. <laughs> or you said I was someplace when I wasn't. Yes. You had the evidence that I wasn't there. Yes. And you decided that you would arbitrarily arrest and detain me. Yes. So that you could psychologically and phys physically torture me during interrogations. <clears throat> now, what Judge Porter doesn't appreciate. Yes. When there's no right to have the accused in a court hearing. Yes. And I speak at my own peril. <laughs> right. What Judge Landis doesn't appreciate, yes, when there's no right to detain the innocent because I wasn't there, right, and I wasn't cyber-stalking, yes, it's an interrogation because of the abuse of your extrajudicial power to have individuals arraigned. <laughs> now, when I tell a judge, did you read it? It's torture. See, uh, you cannot arbitrarily arrest and detain American citizens, yes, for the false accusation of two-count criminal complaint of being in Brendan, Washington on June 16th of 2017. <laughs> you can't arbitrarily arraign somebody where you say, well, <clears throat> we had the court hearing and you weren't here. Yes, of course I was. You didn't give me notice of court hearings. I am not required by law to appear at any court hearing without the actual notice of the state of jurisdiction. No, and I'm not. Ah! 